One thing that I have always wanted to see out of a Halo game is the idea of an open world experience. I am a massive fan of open world games, and if we got an open world Halo game, I would be absolutely ecstatic. So we're going to talk about that today. We're going to be talking about my idea to see how could we make an open world Halo game. My name is Buckeye. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let's get into it. Now here's the thing. I don't know whether this would be a Halo 6 idea or just a regular standalone Halo game, kind of like Halo 3 ODST. I'm not entirely sure. So I guess we'll, I'll give my opinions for both ideas for this. So first off, Halo 6. How could we make Halo 6 an open world game? If we know how the ending of Halo 4 happened, the Guardian let off a massive EMP going across the galaxy, essentially rearing all these planets inactive, uh, for lack of a better term. It, they were very much um, crippled from the EMP. So what does that immediately do? Well, it immediately creates a sense of chaos and a sense of loneliness on each of these planets that could be used perfectly for an open world experience. I mean, just think about it for a second. Say say that you're Chief, right? And you're currently trying to go and rally these factions to help you in your fight against Cortana and the Warden Eternal and the Guardians and perhaps maybe even more enemies that will be about. But say, because of this EMP, your ability to contact all these different factions are... it's relatively sparse. So you need to physically go and actually go to these factions to have them help you. So say you need to go to different planets and you need to go and, and, and talk to different NPCs and do different quests and, and try and find these factions and everything else along with actually helping the civilians, perhaps taking a more realistic approach with this next Halo game, with Chief actually physically going down and helping these people on a personal level. That would be very interesting to me and it wouldn't be too far-fetched considering the way Halo 5 ended with the EMP. I mean, people are going to be joining Cortana because of, you know, obviously people are always going to join the big bad guy when something bad happens. And then you're also going to have the people that are still just struggling to get by and, and to live with the situation that is at hand. I think that this would be a fantastic situation for this to happen. It, it's set up perfectly. You, you really wouldn't have to do much changing around for a story. I feel like it would already be set up pretty well for this to happen. Now, on the same light, Perhaps maybe this would actually be more of a Halo 6 ODST style game. Perhaps, instead of it being the mainline Halo 6 game with Chief and everything, instead of that, maybe it's an ODST game but with the same exact principle. So instead of you being Chief helping out, you're actually the ODSTs that are going in and helping out these various communities and colonies and and trying to, uh, to, to help people that are probably in... in uh, small battles and scuffs with each other, perhaps more insurrectionists are going to start coming about. You never know really what could happen with the large-scale uh, chaos that took place at the end of Halo 5. So really, I think this could work for both. I feel like it could work for a mainline Halo game, and I feel like it could really work for a Halo 6 ODST game, have the more dark and gritty feel. I mean, if you guys remember Halo 3 ODST, it wasn't an open-world game, but it was, it was very open in the sense that you weren't necessarily on rails. You had choice to do whatever you wanted for the most part in Halo 3 ODST. So I feel like they could really just up that scale significantly to make it a full-blown open-world game. Now how would they deal with, say, NPCs and things like that? Would they, would they have like a hub that you would go and find your quest to do? I don't think so. I think that you would physically go to these places and you would go and talk to NPCs in the first person. I don't think you would have to go third person. In fact, in Destiny 2, they do something similar to this, where you go on the different destinations and you talk to the NPC, you just go up to it first person and you talk to the NPC. You don't have to go third person at all for it. I think that they could absolutely do this for an open world Halo game. I don't think it would be that difficult to do. Now what about just a completely separate game? I mean, because Halo 6 ODST is technically a separate game, but what about just a completely brand new story? What could we see from that? Well, I mean, we could we could potentially make it a prequel. Say, go back to uh, a little bit before Reach, perhaps. Maybe back during uh, where the insurrectionists were really taken over. Perhaps you go down and, and you're a member of one of these colonies or whatever, and you're trying to fight your way out. Maybe you are a, a person that is growing up and trying to get into the Marine Corps, and you're trying to, uh, to, to get up there because all your early life you were just devastated by all of these insurrectionists and all this this awful... You just lived in a terrible situation and you wanted to make a difference and fix that. So as you're growing up, you're just trying to get better to be able to get into the Marine Corps for you to actually make a difference in this in the future. I mean, that's an interesting idea. It'd be much before, like I said, much before the events of the mainline Halo series, but I think it would be pretty interesting to follow something like that. Especially considering Halo 6 is 
I guess, supposed to be the last game in the Road Claimer saga. Uh, so they would have to do something new after that if they continued to make Halo games. And I feel like this would be a really good idea to give a shot. So perhaps they would do something like that. Who knows? But either way, I just, I've always been super excited about the idea of an open world Halo game. And I actually really liked, because they had about one or two missions here on Halo 5 where they were kind of open world issues. It was kind of like you're there and you get to go talk to people and stuff like that. It wasn't like you were on rails which I really appreciate in games when they don't put you on rails and they let you do what you want to do. So the idea of a Halo open world game just, oh, I mean, it excites me. I'd absolutely love to see something like that. I think it would be fantastic and I think uh, it would be an interesting change and in pace for the campaigns of Halo. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts on this whole entire thing in the comments down below. Would you like to see an open world Halo? How would you like to see implemented? What story would you like to see? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. And subscribe for more content like this moving forward. We're going to be making some more content, guys. Stick around. I'll see you guys in the next one.